There are four groups from Utah in Oregon right now. Some are saving people, others saving homes. What they're all seeing, though, is heart wrenching. Our urban search and rescue team, Utah Task Force One, received an activation notice mm -hmm. to respond to Oregon to assist with the uh, ongoing wildfire situation. We got in late last night, parked the vehicles here in this field. After a 15 hour overnight shift, it's now day five for Matt McFarland and his team of firefighters. We've seen some um, devastating losses. Thousands of homes have burned. Firefighters in this group work to save what's left standing in the town of Butte Falls. When you get here and you see the devastation they've suffered in structural loss, lives lost, things of that nature, keeps it real, so to speak, where you realize the importance of what you are doing. As of Monday, fires on the West Coast burned almost as many square miles as Cash, Morgan, Weber, Davis, Salt Lake, Utah, Summit, and Wasatch counties combined. At least 10 people have been killed in Oregon. Many more are missing. Over the weekend, 80 more people from the elite FEMA Task Force One deployed to help with search and rescue efforts. It's going to be good, good work, right? We're going to make a big difference. It's going to be tough work. It's going to be hot. Adding to the more than 13 different fire agencies from Utah represented in Oregon. They have been uh, super appreciative of us showing up here and being willing to work. The groups expect to be in Oregon for a couple of weeks. Reporting in Salt Lake City tonight, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.